Ever wanted to become a football agent? The John Viola Academy is an elite training and education program designed by world-class football agents to create world-class football agents. With online courses, personal mentoring and much more, the John Viola Academy provides you with every opportunity needed to achieve your dream career in the beautiful game as a football agent. Head to jvacademy.net forward slash football friends or click the link in our show notes to book a demo call with the team and start your journey today. Where am I tonight? Play for over. Depends. Well, your friend, the football will be there. Oh, friend! Football friend! Oh, that's a poor goal! Stefan Moore, that is extraordinary from Ben Garuccio! You're listening to episode 9 of Football Friends with Ben Garuccio and Stefan Mork, and it is a big one. The name on the entire football community's lips, Bruno Fornaroli, joins us fresh off the back of another four-goal outing at the weekend. El Tuna tells us all about his current run and ambitions at the victory, his football field life in Uruguay, what didn't click with Warren Joyce at City, and more. And of course, the boys review and preview the top talking points of the A-League men. All that and more, coming up on Football Friends! <laughs> Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Football Friends with Ben and Steph. We've got a massive episode today. We've got a big guest in store. But biggest news probably of the of the last week is is Steph, you're you're a dad. I, I can't believe it. Your your son was born safely. Um mum's doing well and, and you've got Orlando Ingo Moore in the world. Yeah, crazy. Well this time this time last week we were we were in the hospital. Um, Carla was. When did we go? And yeah, I think we went. Honestly, the last week's been a blur. But she was, I think, getting ready to push at this stage, and it was yeah a, an unbelievable experience from from start to finish in the hospital, um, at Burnside Hospital. Everyone was amazing, and um, yeah, it's it's you know you don't have kids yet, but when you have them, you you understand. It's hard to like kind of. Yeah, just explain it to to go through it the the whole process of it, seeing your your partner, your wife, whoever it is, kind of give birth, and then your child comes out, and honestly, everything else like just doesn't matter. So the last week, I've been so slack with answering phone calls, text messaging. It's just like you know what, that honestly doesn't matter. Orlando is is the most important thing, making sure he's good, and then next is all right, Carla, she's the one that just pushed this this baby out so is she okay and then everything else comes next so it's um yeah the best the best thing in the world um but also the biggest responsibility because now this this little human this baby that's um meant to be guided by us it's it's a lot of responsibility but something that we're yeah we're really excited yeah no nah, congratulations massive congratulations to to you both it's it's i think probably the the best thing in in this world you know you know bringing new life into the world nothing nothing comes close to that so i'm so happy for you both um you've still been good enough to to come around you have been a bit slack on the phone calls uh this week i haven't heard much from you probably the least we've spoken in in bloody 15 years but it's all good you've still been good enough to to jump on and you know we, we probably don't have a lot of time to to maybe do an a-league wrap as we, as we usually would but it was still a, a massive week in the a-league um, lots to talk about, but unfortunately, that's going to have to wait because we've got a massive guest in store, and he's actually waiting here on the line. So um, let's get him in, Big Bruno Fornaroli. Our guest of the week segment is brought to you by the John Viola Academy. Head to jvacademy.net forward slash football friends to start your football agent journey. All right, guys. So it's time for our guest of the week. And we've been lucky enough to get the man of the moment, Big El Juna, Bruno Fonaroli. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Nice to see you too. A uh, long time, but uh, good friends. So... It's always happy to see you guys. Yeah, it feels like uh, just just the other day we were at Melbourne City um, and you came you came, and we were looking at your stats, I remember, on Wikipedia and we're thinking, this guy's going to be shit. He hardly scored any goals. <laughs> and now, 
<laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> hey. uh, that's true because actually when I, when I just signed from for for City, uh, I read some comments, you know, and the the people say, "Who is this guy? Yeah, he did." He didn't score for the last, he scored oh, maybe three or four goals for the last three years. And why we bring this guy here? And I, and I was thinking, what's going on, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, but I think that give me, give me extra energy, you know? It's like, all right, let's, let's show what, what I can do. And uh, this is what I try to do from, from my first game in, until now. You know, they give me, they, they, they still talking now. Uh, if he, you know, the age or if he, I, I can still do this or, or if he, I'm too old. So that give me, I think, energy to to keep improving and and try to show what I can do. Yeah. Well, yeah. you uh, in training straight away. We, we'll touch on Melbourne City a little bit later. Um, but just quickly, in training straight away, as a player, you would know when someone comes in, you can see if they've got quality straight away and. I think from the first session, we all were like, okay, this guy, even if he doesn't score a lot of goals, he's going <laughs> to assist a lot. He's going to link the play up. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, it spoke for itself in the first couple of games. Everybody saw the quality and you've proven it now for how many years? It's been six years, seven years you've been in Australia? No, eight more. Years. Already eight. Yeah. Eight years? Eight years. Yeah. Eight years. Yeah. Eight years. My, my and, English didn't improve. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eight years already. <laughs> <laughs> just just learning English. I, I actually I literally, I re- look it, I think it's your fault guys. You you teach me in the change room, so I, I don't have <laughs> exactly it's, it's, yeah. it's your fault, it's not my fault. We teach you shit English, we teach you change room English, exactly. not, not proper English. Exactly. But that, and that's the all the swear words, all the swear words as yeah. well. That's yeah. it. And you're trying True. to fight Carl Veer a couple of weeks ago and you hear him on the TV. <laughs> Again, it's your fault, not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> man I, re- I honestly I still remember the first day when you came in uh, Melbourne City and we were in the gym and we were playing remember before we did activation in the gym we always used yeah. to play two touch or something and I remember you were there you straight in you started playing two touch with us and your English was fucking terrible man you had nothing zero zero, zero English especially yeah when the, you know Australian accent. When they say to me the first day, Hawaii, and I say, well, you're talking to me if they're coming from Hawaii, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so for me, it was, it was so difficult, you know? Like it was a Germano in, the, in that tiny yeah. city. So yeah. the first couple of months, he, he helped me a lot. So until, until there, it was a struggle. Even but he had terrible day. English as well. Yeah, yeah but... <laughs> A little bit better than mine, anyway. Uh, it's only probably, uh, for me, now going to Japan, I understand it. I, before, I didn't understand. Like, you, when you come from an English-speaking country, we are very ignorant. We just think everybody can speak English and they'll learn very quickly. Yeah. But going to yeah. Japan, it's the same. No, nobody speaks English. So I actually have more respect because it's not just in the change room, but also the training drills or the tactics like you are, you are not, you're not just thinking about playing football anymore. You're actually thinking about trying to understand what they are saying. So in a training drill, easy passing drill for me and Ben, or maybe not Ben because he has a bad touch. But um, for me, it's easy. But for you, you're trying to understand well, wh- where do I run? Where, who do I yeah. pass? To? It's, it's very, very challenging. No, it, it, it's difficult, especially, you know, we play our, with our character and we, and we need to speak, we need to say or, yeah, and you can't really say what you think, you know. You can't find the the words, especially when you, or you are angry or frustrated, <laughs> or, you know. It's it's difficult to say. Oh, I need to say this. And for me, I think this is the the most difficult part, you know. But yeah, yeah I, I I remember to say in Spanish, anyways. I think, yeah, <laughs> Benny, when you when you put the ball on the stands, I, you understand what I say, you know? man. Hey, yeah. honestly. <laughs> You you learned you learned very quickly actually because I remember like halfway through the year, everyone you were so close with everyone and you were like you know for for people that that don't know you or just know you on the football park like you were honestly one of the best foreigners you know me and Steph we were we were very young then so usually with foreigners you know when they come in they were much older than us and you know they didn't maybe speak to us too much or we were very intimidated by them but you were honestly one of the best guys, like even when, you know, you probably didn't speak English as well as you do now, 
man, you were like always coming, come on, let's play table tennis and smashing us at table tennis or pool or <laughs> doing something around the training ground. But you were just like, that's probably, you know, for me, one of the best um, attributes for you is, is not just, you know, the player that you are, but off the field, you're such a good guy. You speak with everyone. You speak with all the young guys all the time and you have time for everyone, which is, which is you know, a massive thing, especially with a player like you. Yeah, thank you. And uh, I remember we was uh, roomy in that time. Yeah. Uh, so, no, for me, it, it, this is what football is about, you know. Uh, at the end, football will finish and, uh, and we are a normal, normal, normal guy, normal people. And, and for me, it's not just like score a lot of goals or do well in football. It's just, uh, you know, uh, the people remember me after football to say, look, this is a good guy. Uh, that you say, have time for everyone. And, and I'm, I'm still the same. I, I do the same right now with the, uh, with the young players. And, and that's what made me feel young as well. You know, I don't want to be outside or or have a room by myself. It's boring. I find this boring. That's 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 not for me football. So yeah. it's something like uh, it's just with me, and 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 I love to to be around uh, with everyone. That's that's for me. The the, the moment I I don't feel comfortable anymore, uh, I think it, that will be the the moment to say well, I have to stop. Yeah, yeah. nuts. It's good. Well, let's get into, I guess, a little bit of your uh, earlier years. So you're born in, in Salto, Uruguay. Um, where did yep. it all start for you? Um, when did you know that you loved football and that you wanted to become a professional footballer? Oh, look, so we, I started to play football at three years old. So my uncles played football, uh, my father played football, you know, and, uh, and Uruguay, you know, is the number one sport. Second and third, we are only <laughs> three and a half million population in this Uruguayan place around the world and top players actually. So this is why also everyone loves football and and I I grow with that and 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 I don't remember exactly when was the point that I say oh I want to be I just thinking like I always think in that in, in to to be a professional footballer. Uh, but you know, when you start to grow, you start to play, and the, and you feel like you you have something different sometimes, or you score more goals than the others, and the, and and maybe the people start to to talk about you, and then you realize that oh, it can be true. Uh, maybe yeah, I can make it. And but you know, they in Uruguay is very competitive. It's a lot of players, and and and, and you know, you have to really do well and sacrifice a lot of things to to become a, a, a professional player. Yeah. So football for you, obviously, look, it's it's a little bit different here in Australia. There's there's other sports, there's other interests, and, you know, the, the life here is a, a, probably a lot different to, to back home in Uruguay. So for you, yeah. probably football from the moment you were born was probably all you all you ever knew and just what you yeah. loved. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know... Uh, well, it's, it's, it's another thing that I can see with sometimes with the young players, you know, and the, uh, sometimes here the life lifestyle is 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 too easy, you know, and the and the the sacrifice that you have to make is is, is up to you if you really want to do it. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. actually, sometimes you have better life outside football than in football, <laughs> or you can yeah. make more money outside football working in I don't know in a coffee shop with one friend or whatever, because the country give you the opportunity so you don't really need to sacrifice a lot of things to become a a, a, a professional so uh, it's not that it's not your fault to 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 born in no. this country actually <laughs> you are lucky to 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 born here you know it's an amazing country but uh, at the same time you know sometimes when when they when the players go overseas it's difficult to them you see they come back straight away because and uh, now you know you are in Japan now, and and and, and the sacrifice you you will be outside. You was outside also, many, and then you see it's different. It's, it's a jungle. Uh, everyone fight for for a spot. Uh, no one give you anything. Uh, actually, you have to win your spot every day, and then it's different. It's completely different. You have to live twenty four yeah. hours for 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 football, and and sometimes the players don't don't really want this. So you can see they come back straight away and say, you know, we're playing the A League and. Uh, okay, 
finish training, I will have a good life. Family is around. What is the problem? So, and this is is something like we we need to help, or, or, or I want to help the the young generation to to change that mind and then and become more 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 professionals and 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 realize what's going on outside here. You know, that's not yeah. real. Uh, outside mm. is, is like I said before, it's a jungle, and you have to find your way to. To, to become a good player and, 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 and to survive. Actually, it's, it's about survive outside, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. I think, Ben, you can, you can talk about hearts afterwards. But, like, for me, when I went to Holland first, I was 20 years old. I just won the A-League, um, just beat Melbourne City in the semi-final and, and in the last game of the season against you 2 to win the league on a high in the Socceroos camp. Um, thinking well, I'll go to NEC Nijmegen in Holland and in two years I'll be at Arsenal. It's going to be easy. <laughs> and then yeah. you go there and like you said, the training, okay, the coach maybe wasn't great, but the difference is there. The players don't complain about it because every player individually has their own goals that they're focused on. You know, we had players from yeah. um, different countries in Europe, from Africa. Everybody wanted to get to the next level up to earn more money and it was a big shock because I thought mentally I was quite strong in Australia. I was a good player, worked hard, good mindset, professional. But you go there, other side of the world, different language, and it's so hard to, to just train at the high level every yeah. single day. And that's something we, we struggle to provide in Australia because it's different. It's not as competitive. And, and I think we can change it. But what, what was it like for you, Ben, in, in Scotland when you were there? That You're a little bit older but still still tough. Yeah, exactly the same. Exactly the same, just like what Bruno said. And you know what? It's funny that you say this because this is like a whole other conversation that we could have with you and we can compare, you know, the the pathway, the junior years in maybe a country like Uruguay compared to Australia because we spoke about this last week, me and Steph, and we said, why do players here want to sacrifice? Why do they want to make it? You know, in Uruguay, yeah. it's all you know. It's all you know without football. Who knows what, what, like what you said, what the country will give you, how hard you have to work to be successful and maybe working so hard and not earning amazing money. Or you put all your effort, the same effort into football and, yeah. and look, what you can, look what you can have. Look at the life that you can have. It's, it's amazing. And that's what that we literally said this last week. You know, why here in Australia do players want to make that sacrifice? Do they really want it as much? as a young kid in, you know, South America or, or any other country in the world that yeah. maybe isn't as privileged as Australia because we do, we're, we're lucky. We, it's a beautiful country. You know, even if you maybe have a bad life, it's still a lot better than, than maybe some other countries in the world. And, yeah, my time at Hearts was, was difficult as well, you know, and, and I was the same. I, unfortunately, at that time, you know, I got a bad injury. I, it was COVID. I really had no choice. I didn't want to come back to Australia, but I had to. And I always thought, yeah, it's okay. I'll get back overseas. And and now, you know, I'm 28 years old. I'm, I'm still here in Australia. I'm still happy, uh, like, with my career. But, yeah. you know, of course, I, I have aspirations that, you know, I wanted to to go over there and be successful. And it's a fucking jungle, like you said. You know, it's dog eat dog. Every player's there for themselves. They Even want the to be coach. first. They don't talk yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone. Everyone. No, maybe I, they, they just look the training. They don't even say yeah. Anything. I was yeah, playing in the to, first yeah, team. It's so different. Man, I was in the first team and I would be starting one week. The next week, play shit, lose 3 0. Next week, I come to training. I'm putting my boots on. I walk outside. And the assistant coach says, What are you doing here? I said, Training. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> he said, No, no, you're with, the, uh, you're with the academy today, the reserves. I was like, Fucking hell, man. And that, that's how it is over there, man. It's not like. Oh, I will call the PFA and I'll speak with the PFA and they have to put me back. Man, there's no fucking PFA. Exactly. You're, not, you're not good enough. <laughs> exactly. Next one. Exactly. Next one comes in. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing. I think if, if you want to survive, it's like a, a, outside. You have to, you know, be strong, especially here. You know, in, in your mind and and, and 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 be prepared. Be prepared. And I hope, like now, the the young talent that they they. They want to leave, or they already uh, went there. Try to 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 think about it, learn a lot, and, and try to stay. You know, is is this is one of the 
plenty of sacrifice that you have to make in, in, in football if you want to be successful. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. So we'll go um, to your first club, uh, Nacional. Um, how, how did yeah. that come about? Um, and how was that first experience, I guess, going into yeah, football as, as in a professional club? Yeah, uh, I arrived in Nacional in uh, 2001. So I was uh, 12, close to 13 years old. Uh, so I had to leave uh, my house uh, and, you know, to take that decision. Was no, for me, it was, I think it was easy. I was excited to, to make that, that move. But, you know, from what I think now, and I have kids, my daughter is nine, and I, and I left my house in 12. I, I can't imagine my, my daughter coming. <laughs> Daddy, I'm leaving. I will really, you know, I don't know. I, mean, I would say, no, it's possible. I come with yeah. you, you know. I, I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I remember exactly what I said to my mom and say, Mom, it's my dream. You cannot cut it. Uh, it's something like uh, uh, I have to. De- I have to decide. You cannot decide for me. And uh, you know, we make a deal. And she say, okay, you need to keep keep studying. And, and uh, if you do this, uh, you can go. You know, but uh, now I realize how it was for for my for my family in that time. But like I say, it was going to Montevideo. Uh, play for uh, the biggest club in Uruguay and, 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 and for me it was everything was amazing you know oh. I cannot see that pa, family or whatever happened around no it's just me and the, and the future and what, I, and what I want to do uh, but yeah was uh, I think it, through that moment 2001 and 2004 was one of my best period in in, in in, in my career because, uh, you know, I was excited playing football every week, uh, training with other players from other cities and, and uh, you know, meet quality players and improve every day. Uh, but I remember as well, it was a jungle already. You know, it was many, many kids coming every year and, and, and try to uh, be on the team or, or you know, and but I remember that. We have a, a great team, but also a great group. So imagine already 13 or 14 years old, he's coming another striker and a defender already say to me, Bruno, no worries. He will train in 10 minutes today. With that age, he already, he will be out. And if he's coming a, a defender, I say, no worries. I come from him all the time. And <laughs> we might, we may so hard for the, for the other players. So we get, you know, together and they say, no one coming here. So we, we, we grow like that. Actually, we grow like that. And that, like I said before, it's something like a, you have to do it. It's not like it doesn't make you a bad guy or no. It's, it's you or the other. It's, it's that yeah, simple. Life, yeah, and, yeah. And, and yeah, and, uh, and, and of course, I want to wanna make it because change, like you said before, change your life, change, could you change uh, your family life and friends and, and so yeah, it was was a tough period. It was a hard moment, uh, but I I always uh, find a way or, or 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 you know give everything to 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 be successful and, and try to play to play for for national and first team. Yeah, and you did. You went. You were probably one of the lucky ones. You went through the through the system and and you ended up in the top in the first team which is the dream when you go to a club like that to to go you know through the through the age groups and then at the end to, to reach the top there's a lot of players that that go through the the academy yeah, and the system many, and, and they many, don't reach many, many players many many yeah. players do the same sacrifice maybe more than me and they go back home and it's not only play for the first team it's after that survive to keep playing to show that you can make another step because it's a big club always they want to uh, you know they want to uh, call up new strikers with big names and then you have to survive again survive again so oh. you know so it's it's, it's 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 difficult every year it's not you yeah. cannot relax yeah. you cannot relax who was uh, who was some of the best players 
um, you know, for for the the listeners out there, who were some of the best players that came through? The ones that people would know, the names that you played with in those junior years um, that you thought were like, you know, straight away you knew they were were really really good. No, well, it was a couple of players, and maybe I, I I think like they we they could be more successful that they 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 went after. Uh, I think one one was Matia Cardacho. Was for me, he played with me all the academy and the and and was, he was unbelievable. He go actually to uh, uh, Milan, but he didn't have the chance to play and come back. And come back and go back and go back and was in a point like he he didn't have any even a club and wow. you say how how you yeah. know mm-hmm. and then you have a uh, uh, Luis which is his mind is he's not from this world actually he don't feel <laughs> the pressure he whatever you say to him he will say okay I win no no worries yeah and and go the opposite. Opposite, Fuck. actually opposite, and 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 you think, okay, go to Holland, small team, first couple of games, you say um, Europe, you know, maybe it will be difficult for him now. Adapt, do well, go Ajax, do well. You say, okay, but Ajax, you know, attack all the time. It's, it's good for strikers. Went to Liverpool, you say, okay, now it will be difficult <laughs> for him. <laughs> now we see, you know. He was the best player in the Premier League. Was oh, so no. <laughs> and then go Barcelona and say, yeah, but it's not his style, you know. Mm, now we see if he can, you know, Messi, other, other players. They well again. And he did that in Atletico Madrid. He, now in Brazil. Yeah. Went back to Uruguay. Did the same. And then it's because the mentality is completely different to the other. I don't know. Sometimes, I, you know, I say, I wish to have a little bit of his mind to yeah. to always to some through moments, you know, and 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 and, and, and try to don't feel or, or, or don't feel as much like I sometimes I feel, you know, and then uh, but yeah, this is I think uh, all, is all the sacrifice that that you have to make it that make you so strong. Yeah. Man. Well, maybe uh, maybe you can get him out to the A League. He's only the same age, thirty six or thirty seven. No, he will be now in, in January thirty seven. 37. It's no problem. Lady. Look, look at you. You are scoring 11 hey. goals. He'll score 25 yeah, goals is, in seven games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but they still say, oh, all, oh, all. Oh. I, I see everything is 36, 36, 36. The first thing that they put is 36. I don't know why they talk too much about my age. <laughs> hey, you need to come. You need to come to Japan. In Japan, uh, Shinji Ono just retired at 44. It's no problem. Exactly. Can still play. Maybe. So, yeah, but maybe. Maybe. hey, <laughs> Shinji Ono. The night before the game in Melbourne City, he doesn't eat hot chips in the hotel like me and you used to do. No, that was you and uh, and, and Harry Navillo. I didn't want... I never won. We were there. We played cards. We were playing cards the night before the game. I'm thinking, all right, I'm playing tomorrow. I have to focus, drink water, good sleep. Come on, can't be eating. Bruno, (laughs) Harry, hey, we get some hot chips? Yeah, yeah, no worries. I said, no, no, I don't, I don't want hot oh, chips. I don't want hot chips. Man. And Bruno, you, you used to look at me and say, man, relax. If you're not happy, you don't play well tomorrow. And I remember <laughs> you used to sit there. That's bro, true. You used to play, eat, eat, eat chips, play cards, and the next day, had trick. I, and That's I was true. there, good sleep, drink water, no shit food. And I wake up I the next day I, and I play shit. Yeah, I remember <laughs> Harry. I remember Harry in, in bargains before games. In have that body and I say, what's going on? If you <laughs> if you eat something like that, that will be in my system for for a month. Impossible. Yeah. I can't know. Uh, no, but it's, it is another thing I, I actually I I learned, uh, especially after after Popa, you know, and then you, you you to know him and then how crazy he is for the uh, skin force weight and all that stuff and. You know, when I arrive in Perth and, you know, have a nutritionist there, uh, she's amazing and then helped me a lot and learn how I have to eat. And I think also this helped me to 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 performance today, you know. Mm, uh, yeah. My kids complain a lot because he say, Daddy, you eat chicken salad, 
salad chicken, uh, <laughs> a little bit of rice sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I think that helped me to 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 be healthy and and and, and to be ready every, every single game. Mm. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think you learn 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 as you get get older and um there's a balance. You need to enjoy life, like you said. It's true. You need to enjoy life because if you go too far the other way, yeah. good sleep, good food, then you just focus on football. If you have one bad game, your head is gone. If you yeah. don't have the, yeah. the Luis Suarez mentality, then maybe yeah. you don't survive. So, That's the balance that you have to yeah, find. You, exactly. you need to, and each player is different. You have to figure that out for yourself. So you've obviously done that. And um, go on, Ben. Are we going into to Europe next? That's the, yeah. the next list. So after... You broke in, national, everything's good. You're playing, you're doing well. You're a young player. You're playing in the, in the biggest club in, in Uruguay. Um, and you, you know, you're probably seeing players all the time moving to, to Europe, to getting opportunities. And um, obviously, you got, you got your opportunity. Sampdoria, massive club. It's a yeah. great club to go to, to Italy at that age. And um, talk, talk to us a little bit about that. You know, what happened? Um, how did it how did it come and you know what was the what was the experience like was it always in your mind I want to go to Europe I want to play in Europe yeah you know after the, the uh, you know as a player it, 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 we, when we reach something we want more or that that yeah. was me and uh, I'm I'm still thinking like that you know and then and, and when I played for national I did well and you know it's the people start to to say maybe uh, he will he will go Europe and then in that point Italy was the was the Premier League uh, moment you know it was uh, Serie A was amazing with big names and and, and of course he, will, he I, I want to be there I want to play there and then when come the opportunity to play for Sampdoria I remember my the president of uh, of national talked to me and said Bruno the club is Need the money. Uh, it's a good offer for me, for 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 you. It's a good offer for the club. I think it's will be will be good for you to to go. You know, it was. I remember. I don't know if I'm. I'm not sure if I was ready because after only one year in the first team, uh, I think I, I need to learn and improve a lot before do that step. Uh, but you don't think like that. You just go, no. uh, yeah. and you say the big, board is there. Big club. It's a big club, you know. It's a big move. The club say, "Please go." Will be good for the club as well. So <laughs> every, everything was connecting. Say, "Yeah, okay, have to go." Let's go. But again, different world, different players, different language, different culture, everything, and and it was not easy because uh, I was twenty twenty one, and uh, you know playing. Every game in national like cup games and then big games, and arrive and feel like, oh, look, you are like a project for us, you know. Uh, yeah. You are a young player, you are a young talent, but maybe five minutes, maybe the bench. And I say, oh, why are you bring me here? I don't want to be like that. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to wait. And I think it was a, a, a mistake. Actually, to to don't wait. Yeah. To you know to say oh I'm, I'm I want to play I play every, every game I remember one was a derby in Sampdoria Genoa massive derby big pressure and and I remember the coach called me the day before the the game and talked to me and say oh I wanna I wanna I wanna know how you feel because maybe. Uh, you have to come on tomorrow and you know it's a massive derby big pressure and I know you're young and I, and I say uh, I ask I say, yeah boss but how many people will be there tomorrow oh maybe 35 40,000 foot so, mister I don't know why you ask me that if you know in Uruguay you play with 60 <laughs> and the, and real pressure I don't know if he People die outside the pitch here, but outside the stadium, but in Uruguay, yeah. So don't talk to me <laughs> like that. <laughs> don't talk to me like I, I'm a kid. I understand, but please, don't. I don't want to feel this, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, but 
and I can feel it that they treat me like a a a a, a young was I was young actually, but but not with the respect. I, yeah, so he, he shouldn't know from where I come from. So, uh, yeah, it was only five minutes, ten minutes, and then you know I decided to go to go alone, and 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 you know I think that was a mistake, but it's something like I I was feeling at that point. I was no one no one around except my family to say, Bruno, it's better to stay. My agent for him was perfect if I want to move because he keep making money. <laughs> and, and that's the yeah. reality. Sometimes if it will happen and, and, and they don't think about us, they just think to, mm. to make deals. Uh, so I start to move around the world. And this is, was, I think, a, a big mistake. Uh, I couldn't have more time in Sandoria, stability and learn from big players and and try to get more minutes. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's tough. I think that's like you said, uh, you're a young player and you, if you don't have the support around it, if your family didn't play in Europe, you know, your dad or exactly. brother or uncle, if they've played there, they can give you a bit more advice and you'll trust them. But it's, it's hard to trust many people in football. So you just think, I'll go with my, my gut. I want to play. Yeah. I want to feel important. And the agent, which is meant to look after you, your best interest, they are just looking after their their wallet most of the time. As long as it's getting thicker and bigger, then they'll they'll move you wherever. So it's it's all learning, though, isn't it? Life is learning, yeah. um, and and that probably led you to coming to Melbourne City. So how how did that come about? Because like we said earlier, um, didn't look good on the statistics, but Melbourne City obviously have a great network of scouting. So how did that move actually come up for you? And were you excited to come to Australia, or was it a bit disappointing to be leaving leaving Europe? No, look, after Europe, I come back to Uruguay, play uh, for Danubio. Uh, you know, in Uruguay, you play the um, Copa Libertadores. It's like the Champions League in South America, you know, and it's very important. The uh, massive, difficult uh, cup. And and I remember to play that, with, that cup with Danubio and with a really young squad. And we did so well playing against massive teams with big money, big players like, you know, Corinthians, Sao Paulo, which they pay like Europe. So they they bring players from Europe to South America, actually. So, uh, and we did really well. And I remember to um, uh, one in scouting from uh, Citigroup called me and First thing that he said to me was like, uh, if I want to go to New York City, the club uh, city group in, in New York. And, and you know, I would say, okay, MLS, you know, I, I, I want to go. I think we'll be, we'll be good. And after two days, you come back and say, you know, it's another club in Australia, Melbourne City. And I say, what, what happened with New York? What's going on? <laughs> no. <laughs> is it? I fucking yeah. wanted America, and now I'm fucking yeah, in and Australia. I, and I say, and 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 and, and I and I, I think I said this before, and then uh, you know, I, I didn't know, I didn't know anything about Australia. I remember, of course, the the Uruguay against Australia for, for go to the World Cup, and, but that's it. Yeah, I say, man, they play, uh, they play rugby. I say, uh, I don't know anything <laughs> about the league. Uh, but I played with Costa Barbarusis before in 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 Greece, so I, I have that, that that contact square to to call him and they know more about it. Uh, but yeah, it was around three weeks that I say no, man, I, I'm not coming. Uh, sorry, but also the the deal was was no good to move around to the other side of the world. Uh, uh, the contract was. Was no was not really good. They in Argentina they offered me more money than the, than than here and say why I want to go the other side of the world if I have just here very close a competitive uh, league. I don't know anything there. So I'm starting to think with my wife uh, and one day to the other they said to me Bruno they want to meet you in Manchester and I say nah. For what? No, no, he want to show you the project. This is a new club, blah, blah, blah. And they say, you, could you fly this week? I say, they send the tickets. Like, 
this is different level, you know? It's yeah. like just huh. to meet you, to show you the project. If you don't like it, you come back and you go to Argentina, wherever you want to go. Say, you want to fly alone? You want to fly with the family? You want to fly? Like, everything was like, you know, different. Whatever you want. Which yeah. is not normal in football, you know? And uh, uh, and I remember to took that fly, sit down in Manchester with the, with the, with the city group there, and uh, they showed me... Uh, the project and then uh, you know i come back and say to my wife look i like look like this is could be different and my wife says look i check melbourne is one of the best cities around the world to live let's go do the, the experience but in my mind was like okay i will go there to jump yeah you know do yeah. well Short and term, short term. In Japan or short term, I say this, this will be my focus is, and, and I want to go there to do well, not just to have a good life and, and live in a good city. So that's it. Uh, that's what, uh, what I did and, 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 and lucky, you know, eight years eight year after I'm, I'm still here and I'm also a citizen and, and you know, crazy. You never Maybe, would have imagined that. <laughs> Maybe in the Asian yeah. Cup squad as well soon. We never know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Everything can happen. Everything Football, can happen. anything. Things can change from one day to the next. So it's yeah, crazy how, like you said, the it's like for us, you know, if you're if you're looking to go somewhere else, it's a bit different because Australia is so far. We know we have to move far. We want to go to Europe. Or if South American teams come in, you'd be like, this is crazy. Of course, it's a good yes. opportunity. But for the other way, you know, the time zone, the moving your family to a country that yeah. you thought just played rugby. It's a big, it's a big change, but I'm sure now you are so happy that you actually made this, made this move because life's been pretty good the last eight years. Yeah. For me, I think it's one of my best decisions in my life. Uh, and I can see not only what I did in the league, it's also uh, how my family feel here. You know, and and, and and how happy are my kids, uh, my wife, uh, and they they feel uh, home. You know, and sometimes when I ask them if he, if they want to come back to Uruguay to live, they say no. This is we are from here. Uh, we we love to visit uh, grandma and grandpa, but we want to stay. So that's that's also it's nice to 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 hear this from from my kids. You know. Yeah. Well, look, it's look, we love obviously having you here. I think not just for for the football, but also what what you do for the game here and the way that you can help younger players. I think it's invaluable to have someone like that in our league. And, you know, I think me and Steph spoke in a in an earlier uh podcast um at the start and we said, you know, all really Aussies expect from from international players or visa players when they come is, you know, to to want to be here not just to come here for a holiday, but to, to want to come here to hopefully teach the younger kids, to, to help the younger kids and to, to set an example. And, um, you know, I think as a young Aussie player, when you're looking up to, to a foreigner, that's, that's all you can expect. And that's something that you've done, you know, from, from the first moment you walked into Melbourne City. And, you know, I'm sure you did it at Perth Glory and, I, and I'm sure you're doing it now at Melbourne Victory as well. And, and that's why you are still at the level that you're at, um, even though you are old now. But, don't, um, say, don't, don't say that. <laughs> experience. Call me experience. <laughs> experience player. No older. Yeah. Uh, it's, but, um... it's, it, look, uh, I'm competitive. Uh, and I think it, it, the best that you can do is not just talk with the young players, just show, you know, uh, sacrifice. Uh, the young players, uh, they look at you and say, okay, I trust this guy because. He actually, if he demand, it's because he he do. It. You know what I mean? I can't demand mm -hmm. something for for a young kid and, and 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 don't do the same. So I can't say to you, oh, you have to run if you don't run. Uh, and same in training, be focused. If you am not focused, uh, so that is something like uh, uh, I try to to do every day. And and and, and like you said before, uh, to be close to everyone. You know that that for me is is the best part of football. I think it's something like uh, when I when I when I stop playing will be uh, something I will miss a lot, you know, to be in the change room, uh, 
uh, or when you have to travel around the team, playing cards, eating, no eat chips, not anymore. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think it's is 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 one of the the beautiful part uh, you know that you have to enjoy because one day that finish and then you cannot go into the change room anymore. You know that so uh, it's something that I have to enjoy every day now. Yeah, just yeah. um, sorry to cut you off, Ben. Just because we we know you can't stay for too much longer. One thing that I want to touch on before we maybe go into, yeah. we won't go into Perth glory too much. We'll speak a little bit about, you know, your time now. But one thing I want to talk about is a little bit of uh, the end at Melbourne City. Um, you had yeah. the really bad injury and that's when I came back on loan for that year. So we were, we were there together. So I saw a lot of it. Yeah. Um, talk us through, I guess, you know, that you were the main man. You know, you, you were the big player there. Obviously, we had a lot, of, a lot of other big players as well, but you got the bad injury. Warren Joyce has come in, who is changing the style of play, wanting you to be doing the line runs, changing, changing everything, really. And maybe the club yeah. needed that, but for you, it was, was probably quite difficult. You came back from the injury and things didn't go to plan. So I guess talk to us about your mindset and what you were thinking um, and why you then ended up deciding to leave. Yeah, uh you know, you, you, you was there in that period and then the club changed completely, you know, when the when he arrived and I think until that point City was creating something special. Uh, uh, unfortunately I remember Van Kip had to have to leave because his his father was no was no well in the in that moment and and he decided to to go back to Holland. Uh, but I think you can change things, but at the same time you you need to respect the players, you know. And and and, and for me, you can take everything I, I give you my life, but uh, we respect, you know. And 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 I think in that point, uh, not the club because the club was really good with me, and 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 and, and I can't I can't say anything, you know. But I think we just couldn't connect with, 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 with Warren. He has things that I was, uh, we are not in the same page. Uh, he has things like I uh, was no in that meeting, in that project that they showed me before. Uh, so I say, what's going on? This is no, this is not what I want. It's not in the plan. It's no that the club said to me, it's no why I'm here. It's not that the style like the club want want to play. So I did a lot of sacrifice anyway. I tried to, like I said before, try to go through the moment. You know, uh, coaches change, uh, and I say, okay, I have to again survive. But you know, I arrive in a point like I, I say, look, uh, I have to be honest with me as well. I can't work like that. I can't. I just because for me uh, I, I respect, but when you don't have the same thing, you I think you have to you have to leave. You have to find another way, and and and, and, and you know uh, in that in that point, I think uh, if the club was behind me uh, a little bit more, uh, 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 maybe I, I would stay. But I, I I didn't have that feeling in that point, so I decided to. To move forward and say, look, I don't want to be someone who affect the change room or, or, or me, my situation affect the affect the other players because sometimes, you know, like you said before, I was uh, captain in that in that moment, you, were captain, and, yeah. and, you know, and the people start to talk, and then you know that go through the change room, and the, even if you don't want this affect the other players, and the, the situation affect the change room, and I, and I don't want that, and I say, look, guys, this is uh, it's done for me. I just I need to leave. I need to leave. Uh, it's enough, uh, you know. And 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 I was not happy. No, I was not happy. I was not enjoying the football. I was not enjoying uh, to scoring goal or, or actually go into training. So in that point, when I realized that, I say, oh, have to training. It's only two options: or stop playing football, or change, change the team, change the atmosphere, change because. If you don't want to training, if you don't want to come to training, it's done. It's done. And and and, and that was the, the point that I said, no, 
I have to I have to change and uh, you know um, look I I always grateful with with, with City there there was the club to to who bring me here and and and, and, and you know give me the opportunity to to play in in, in the A League. Uh, but yeah, sometimes we need to move forward and, and we need to find our, our way to be to be happy and enjoy enjoy what we do. Yeah. Well, you know what? Like you said, I think in life, just like in football, things happen for a reason. You know, certain things. One door closes, another door opens, and and you know, it's everything in, in your career. You know, if you didn't leave Sampdoria, maybe you would still be there. Maybe you'd be playing. In Barcelona with Luis Suarez, who knows? But at the end <laughs> yeah, of the day, yeah, but it's like this. Well, yeah, you have to do. I think what you think is right in the moment, and I think if you have your principles and what you believe in inside, and you always follow that, and you always stick to that, and say, you know what, I believe that this is the right decision for for my life, for my family, for my career. In this point, then then you can be happy. And I think, look, like what you said, you have to be happy because Melbourne City, they did, they brought you to Australia. It was an amazing time. You were playing amazing football. We had a top team. We enjoyed life. We enjoyed football. You gave me my first assist for for my first ever A League goal. So, thank you. True, um, true. <laughs> but, man, like we we had we had fucking amazing times. We had so much fun in the training ground, playing pool, playing table tennis. You nutmegging everyone at training. Like it, it's it's top. And then you know you went to Perth again. You know a, another decision in football that that. You know, maybe you can say football, yes, no, but Perth is a, is an amazing city. I remember every time I spoke to you, you yeah. said, you know, my family, the kids, they love it, man. We walk down to the beach, 100 meters, yeah. it's 30 degrees every day. So you don't get to experience this this life without football. And and now you, you came back, you're at Melbourne Victory, and, you know, this is probably the reason why, you know, we have to get Bruno on because, man, what the fuck are you, what are you doing right now? I'm not, sure. Chicken salad. I'm not sure. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but again, everything happened for a reason. Uh, like you say, and and it's about uh, feeling well, feeling happy, enjoying the... Uh, almost the same happened in Perth. And I have to move forward. Uh, and you know, when the, and when the, the change come to, you know, to come to victory and 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 you say uh, it's again to be in a in a you know in a top team and 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 with a big fans and play good football again and 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 play for win that's what I that's what I want for my last couple of years in my career when 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 I discussed with the family you know I remember my wife asked me how you want to end your career you know and that was the question for me. Because I couldn't choose to to be there, stay if no play, no play, or whatever the club wanna decide. In that point, will be good for me anyway. Or you wanna be competitive again? You wanna be in a big club, play playing every every single win, every single week to to win and and and, and to be successful. And and this is why I I I choose to to come and make a victory. And then I think. You know, after the first season was was not really, really a great season for us, but uh, for me as well because I I didn't did uh, preseason before. You know, was in in Perth, there was an injury, a little bit problem with the club, so I didn't train well. Was was not a great time as a footballer, uh, but I know if he. he this year before I start, you know, I say I have to do a great precision because that that will give me the the life after. And and actually, thanks God, I touch I touch wood, uh, I didn't miss one training. Uh, and like I said before, you know, Papa, he he treat me like a a young player. He don't. It's not like oh, Bruno, you thirty six, go out. You know, <laughs> too too late for you. Uh, and 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 I don't like that. I don't like actually. Nice, that's good. Yeah, uh, I don't like to treat me like a kid. I don't like to treat me like a old man. So we are all the same, and 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 this is this is also help me to 
to compete with the new generation because it's, it's coming a, a, a good place, new talent, and, and you have to have to match them physically, mentally, uh, and it's only one way, and it's working hard. So and this is what I try to take care in, not only in training, at home as well, and, 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 and try to be ready. That's, that's the one. This is why I think uh, now I'm scoring because the sacrifice was 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 a lot and hard and and, and but now I think at the end football pays, you know. Yeah, it's great. I think all of the sacrifice from when you were a twelve year old boy, you know, when you first move away from home, all of those lessons you learn along the way, they're still with you today, you know. So it's your experience. You're not old, you're experienced, but all of the That's lessons good. you learn over the twenty four year span is is setting you up now to, to be able to perform because you get maybe you're a, a little bit slower or maybe not as strong or you lose but then you're smarter in other ways and to score goals it's it's really about uh you know your mind your brain being in the right positions being hungry like you said wanting to be competitive and it looks like you're enjoying football more than or maybe the same as that melbourne city season to be honest when i watch you play now it looks like the same excitement the same joy and yeah, it's exciting for Melbourne Victory fans, maybe exciting for Socceroos fans. Um, but <laughs> we, we, we need to get into the questions because you need, a, you need to go somewhere else. So you want to read the first question out, Ben? Um, what have we got here? We've got from, oh, this is actually a good question from John. Um, at what point did you and your family decide Australia was going to be long term? Was there a specific moment where you thought, yes, I want to stay here for a very long time, maybe until the end of my career and maybe after football as well? That's a good question. Uh, look, I try to don't think much uh, about it, which is come and enjoy and stay and stay and stay. And, then, and, and, and we are happy, but, you know, like you say, I don't know how many years I have left. Uh, it's something like sometimes we don't want even this car with, with the family because uh, it just say, first, finish career. Second, uh, we don't want to say like, okay, we will stay. Because that, that, that means like, oh, you have to call the family. You have to say, oh, we, 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 we stay here. We'll be drama inside so <laughs> yeah. yeah we just let it go just why go. just why to the whatever end whatever happens happens and uh, way to the end if we, we arrive at the point okay <laughs> we see how we work after but uh, now it's, it's not the moment we just enjoy uh, so that's what uh, that's what we do at the moment and then but yeah we, like i said before my kids feel feel australia like home and we as well we are so happy here and and and, and we are very very grateful for for this country, you know. Where where are you living in Melbourne now? I'm in Brighton now. Oh, big money. Too He's much living money. the dream. <laughs> Brighton is. Broxy say Broxy say it's no Brighton where you live. It's no Brighton, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Brighton is. Uh, oh, it's still a good, still a good part of uh, of Melbourne who's to cool, be in. So, uh, yeah, no, yeah. that's most important. Um, next question we have from at WDM10. Would you return to National if you had the opportunity? Oof. That's a weird question. Eh? Uh, if, they, if they call tomorrow, say, Bruno, we want you back. We see you're, you're scoring four goals. <laughs> you're scoring four goals again. Come back. Teach the young players something. Oof. That would be big, big pressure. Because it's, it's, it's the club that they give me everything. The, he teach me, they teach me a lot of things that they, they put me where I am now. They give me the chance to, to, to play professional football. So it's something like first I have to discuss with the, with the family and, of course, the club. Uh, because uh, I'm not sure if, we, if, we, if Victor is say, oh, Bruno, you can leave. <laughs> 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 but, they, yeah, yeah. but they want 10 million they want 10 million for him <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure well, if you say yeah we, we want money or no we don't want money you stay or yeah you can leave I'm not sure 
Uh, football is crazy. Uh, Paye National is in is in my heart, you know, and 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 I love and 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 will be will be nice to to come back, but I cannot think uh, about that at the moment. I'm I'm focused in Sydney now. It's coming soon. Blue Derby. I need to keep scoring and and will be massive three points. So that's that for me is is the focus right now. Yeah. Um, from Anthony, what's the best goal you've ever scored? And I don't know. I haven't seen all your goals. I've seen a lot of. I've seen you score a lot of good goals, but <laughs> man, the goal, the goal against Central Coast, that. Well, that's, that's it can't. Good goal. Sure, it has to be. It has to be up there. That has to be up uh, there. Yeah, it had everything. Could be, could, yeah, have everything. That's the difference. But I'm scoring a derby in Uruguay. Uh, a very very nice goal uh, when I just started, you know, and the scoring a derby in a, with massive pressure like that, you know. I remember the keeper go out, I put the ball, you know, over his head, and then chip. finish alone with the chip. It was not even chip; it was a little bit different. So I, the feeling there was. Big. I, I don't know if you want. I, I will score another goal like that one. But definitely against Marin uh, was incredible. Actually, I didn't realize how good it was uh, until like, I go back <laughs> to the change room. And, you know, after I took the family, my, my phone was red. And then everyone texted and, and, you know, how it is. And uh, and then I realized, oh, yeah, I'll have everything. This goal, have everything. And But, yeah, sometimes you just play, enjoy, and take decision what is best in the moment. And... And you know, in the end, lucky for me, it was was an amazing goal. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's crazy. You, you only you only score a goal like this when when you enjoying your football. Exactly, for me. For me, is that if the key. you don't enjoy? That's the key. Never. That's the one for me. Yeah. Never. You 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 will you will not allow to to do something different, or you you don't feel it to to nag me, or just you you you're scared. You want to play easy. You. You know, when you don't have the confidence to, from your coach, from from your teammate. For me, the one is have the confidence to from your teammate to say, "Yeah, Bruno, just do it, go." You know, and then if you lose, we are here for you. No worries. That that for me is the is the key. You know, and it's that that how I feel right now. Uh, the team is is behind me. They support me. They they they. I have a good relationship with everyone and that made me happy and made me make me play my best football. Is that why you're uh, you're the only one allowed to score for Melbourne victory this season? <laughs> Nobody else is allowed to score. No, actually, <laughs> look, look, look what I did. Uh, the, the second goal against Wante uh, was Nish running the other side. I looked, yeah. I looked him three times to try to play the ball. Yeah. And and I didn't have the chance. All right, I arrived in a point like, oh, man, you are the number nine. Just shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I keep that in my mind. I don't know why. And I, and, I, and, and we arrived to the change room and I say, mm-hmm. Nish, sorry, bro. Uh, look, I tried to pass the ball. <laughs> I, I explain him like, look, I tried to pass the ball. Don't feel like I, I just well, I want to score alone. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, hey, I say, man, you the best. It was good. And I say, yeah, but I swear. <laughs> I tried to. I want to pass. Through. I want to pass. Man, it's you, true. you were like you were like this, like yeah, just went, yeah. lifting yeah. your leg, wait, wait. and and the and Russell, Tate, I think Tate it was Russell. Russell yeah. He just yeah, yeah. Tate Russell just kept going like in in line with with um, Nish. So he just and then in the end, like you had the space, you had to shoot. Yeah, but in the end, if you, if you if you see in the end, he actually opened. Yeah, he went. Yeah. With he did. Nish. Yeah. So I don't he thought you weren't going to score. Done. I have to shoot. <laughs> what, what, what can I do? <laughs> I cannot cross from there. <laughs> but no, but it was my fair reaction in the change room in the half time to say to Nish, "Look, I saw my life, and everyone joke. <laughs> Bruno, come on, you will you just want to score day. this guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We know you. You will know. But I say, I swear, I tried to pass the ball. No, but, that's crazy. But you know, yeah." The, the 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 striker needs to score the goals, so it's no problem. Um, and this is the the last question from from Javi Lopez. Season, um, 
Who are the best defenders you've played against in the A League? Mm. Good question. Uh, I I don't remember the name. Uh, was a uh, he he played for Sydney before? I think he, he should free kicks and corner. Yodi Bas. Ah, Yodi Bas. With the with the I play with him in yes. Japan. I play yeah, with him in Japan. Him. Very good, man. That was, yeah. he was strong, fast, quality with the ball. I remember, uh, yeah, to suffer against him. I changed the side. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll tell him. To, I'll to tell him this. He'll game. like hearing. Yeah, yeah. He he, he was one, uh, and, and and I was surprised not only because of the way that he defends, and he also like uh, you know he was smart player, technique, good with the ball. Actually, it's not normal to see. Uh, uh, I defend the uh, uh, free kicks and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and then, then. So, yeah, well, I think well, he was one of uh, the best defenders I played against. Yeah. And um, yeah. one of the other ones, I remember yeah. Matthew Del Pierre the, from Victory. Yeah. But yeah. the first game you play against him, you roll, you roll him and score yeah. your first and then, goal. And the guy that yeah. gave you the assist is an unbelievable player. You remember I him? To you. One, two, and you pass it, they say. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'm you, waiting. You haven't I'm waiting. Hey, you haven't changed, huh? You're still the against, same. Against uh, MacArthur, in the last, uh, I was 20 seconds left when we draw. Now, actually, yeah. Uh, be, before one day. Yeah, uh, we the same. MacArthur. He played you, yeah, and, and, and you. He played me, and I called Nish, one, two, same. <laughs> I think it was me here. And I turned the other side. I can't. I can't. I can't. I you have to change. play the moment. I have to play the moment. I have to play the moment. Yeah, no. but it's, it's good, you know. And I'm, uh, the players know me and, 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 you know, and I always try to do, to do the best for the team. So that, that's good. And I want to, and I want to, and I want to go in the league. That's the one. Um, like you say, I'm, I'm old. Everyone say I'm old. Yeah, I want to win the, the league. Uh, eight years here without uh, win the the league is for me is something like cannot happen. And and I can see in, now in, in 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 my teammates the the desire that they, they have that we have and the, to win is 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 massive. So uh, I think we if we do it, we do right the right things until the end uh, I think we have the chance so uh, we have to keep improving but we have a great spot to 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 try to win the the league this year yeah no well look I think from us um, that's it we, we appreciate you coming on you know I'm, I'm buzzing for you I'm buzzing for the form that you're in um, I think you should be in the Asian Cup squad hands down because you know there's there's no one here in this country right now that's that's playing even close to you so um big hats off to you and you know you seem very happy at victory so i hope you continue to to bang the goals in just not against western united um well when we play look, soon eh? uh, i i don't know i don't know actually <laughs> hopefully maybe in a little while when you calm down a little bit i, I, we'll I see. remember no no <laughs> Now go up. <laughs> I remember, I remember again, so I like play and, and Benny was close to me and I say, you know what will happen now? The ball it was in a corner and he stayed with me in the middle of the field and I say, you know what happened? Someone of our team win the ball, the ball will come to, to us and I will roll you. So I will turn around you and I have the pitcher. And exactly the same happened. I think it was you know kind of because you pulled the yeah the yeah shirt. I just pulled him down like that. <laughs> uh, it's oh. amazing, man. And now uh, for me, it's it's great to see you you two doing doing these things because like I told before, the football is not just ninety minutes. Also, like what happened outside, the the best thing is in, in football is is the, the 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 friends that you make because one day football finished trophy who you are disappear but stay the uh, the most important thing that is is the make that the defense that you make in 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 this beautiful trip and and you know i think 
you two are part of this, uh, and and it's great to see you talk about football by in different in different perspective, and and and, and it's great. So keep doing this. Uh, I hope that the the people like, uh, and I'm here when whatever you need. No, thanks. Thank you. I think this will be the the number one viewed show, and we need to maybe get you on for a second one at the end of the season. Uh, when you win the title with Melbourne Victory. Then we can get you on on the, the Mad Monday with your glasses on, <laughs> champagne. This will be good. That's more footy thing. That's more footy thing, but okay, I will try. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank nah, you. Hey, right. thank you. Thank you very much, bro. All, all the best and, and we'll chat to you soon. Thank you so much for coming on. No worries, man. All the best for you too. And for you, Benny, I hope that the things start to... To change a little bit and you know part of football uh, cool. everyone knows that so it's only one way keep pushing keep improving and then and, and, and that's it it's nothing more so thank you very that's much it. for to you guys to to invite me and and again all the best for for the rest of the episode thank you brother Football Friends with Ben and Steph is proudly brought to you by the Inner Game Journals, started by none other than our co-host, Stefan Moore. The athlete performance journals were created to help athletes of all abilities become more self-aware through goal setting and reflection. On or off the field, the mental side of the game is so crucial to help you feel and perform at your best. Head over to www.theinnergamejournals.com and use code FOOTBALLFRIENDS to get 15% of all products. If you're a club, school or a Academy, you're in luck. Stefan also runs workshops and he's just released the app version, which will allow you to give direct feedback to players. Download the app for free today. Search the inner game on the app store. What a what an hour that was. It just flew by. It was um yeah, unbelievable to hear. You know, we we played with him, but to hear some of those stories firsthand and the way he he goes about it, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, what a chat. Honestly, what a guy and you know, to be obviously good enough to come on um, is is the first thing because, you know, it was actually pretty last minute and, um, you know, he went and bagged another four and then I was thinking there's no chance he's going to come on the podcast, but he was good <laughs> enough to come on and yeah, what a guy, you know, he's always been that way and I said it, you know, during the chat that, you know, he, he's always been that that kind of guy that's got time for everyone and I think, yeah, it, it shines through the, the type of person he is when, when you hear him speak. So, no, it's um, a great chat. No, no. Unbelievable, and and that goes in. We we didn't do the the review of the round, which is probably a good thing for you, Ben. But we've got the preview. Round eight, it's a new week. As Bruno said, football changes very quickly. First up, the the Aloisi Derby, Friday night, Western United Brisbane Raw. You must be pumped for that one to to bounce back after what's happened on the weekend. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's a, it's another chance to to put things right. Um, and it's getting to that to that stage now where, where we do you know there, there's no excuses uh, for the for the performance obviously we didn't go into detail but yeah at, at the end of the day there's no excuses uh, for that performance we, we weren't good enough and uh, in games before we maybe were potentially good enough to be in the game but that game there w- was was not good enough from us so looking forward to that one we're back at Amy Park which um, which should be good and, and it will be a good game against against Ross and, and Brisbane Raw. Yeah, it would be, you know, it's it, obviously we're not actual blood brothers, but it, it kind of would be like, you know, if we're coaching one day and you're going up against each other, like it's just a weird, it would be a weird thing for them both where they're so competitive and, you know, we both know them relatively well, know Ross a bit better than you, but um, yeah, it would be, it would be very interesting to see how they are on the sidelines. Are they a bit more reserved or are they extra kind of uh, heated? But either way, Friday night, it's a blockbuster then we go into Western Sydney Adelaide straight after that game. So my my Friday night with Orlando is is set on the couch. If he starts crying, Carla's gonna have to take him. And and I'm sitting I'm sitting down that that four or five hours, um, which will be another big game. Western Sydney need to bounce back, and so do Adelaide. So two teams that um, you know want to be up there. They need they need to bounce back. Um, so that will be that will be a great one. And then we've got Newcastle against Perth. Newcastle. I guess got the the surprise result of the weekend. Everyone was talking about Wellington, how good they are. Newcastle struggling, and it goes to show in this league if you're if you're not on a, if you're not ready to kind of go out there and give a hundred percent, anybody can beat anyone. And, and Newcastle deserved that result on the day. They've got some good good young players. Uh, Robbie Stanton um, spoke, I guess, about giving them opportunities. 
and you know they're they're rewarding i guess his uh his patience with him because in those first few weeks you know when you're losing games it's hard to stick with that but they deserve they deserve it and then we go into melbourne victory against sydney fc as we spoke to the big man just then he's he's ready all he's thinking about is what's next what's next and i wouldn't want to be sydney fc's defense would you no no way no way no you got a player that's everything that that he touches at the moment turns to gold whether it's a a tap in or a 30 yard screamer and nutmegging players like he's he's doing it all at the moment so yeah um it's gonna (laughs) that's gonna be an interesting game and and you know melbourne victory's home game it's yeah it's gonna be a big one i expect the I expect 20,000 minimum for that one. I think Should victory, be a big, the fans have been a little bit skeptical. I think the whole season about, you know, are we actually back, you know, but you know what, that game on the weekend away from home, 4-3 win, they were 4-1 up. I think it was, you know, they, they're, they're the real deal. They're up there and, and hearing Bruno, which I'm sure Melbourne, many Melbourne victory fans will listen to this chat. You should be, you should be excited. And then we go into the other Melbourne team, uh, Melbourne city against central coast. Central Coast coming off a big win against you guys and City, um, a top win away from home. You know, maybe it wasn't the prettiest of games, but Perth, as we've discussed, away is a tough place to go. So both of those teams play, uh, you know, play Asian football in the middle of the week. So they've got to back up on a short turnaround. And then that goes us into Monday night football, which is, um, you know, Monday night football and MacArthur is now becoming something that's a bit normal because they played there against Adelaide a couple of weeks ago. So MacArthur against the Knicks to to wrap it up for the rounds, a big game to be honest. Again, Phoenix yeah. are up there. MacArthur surprise MacArthur packets. Are, they like, just keep it's... getting it done. Yeah, they keep getting it done. So yeah, that's going to be that's going to be another interesting game. It's a a really good week to be honest. There's good games everywhere. It's a it's a interesting week if if you're a viewer. Exactly right. So we'll um yeah I guess I'll be on the couch watching all of those games. You'll be playing Friday night and then you've got the rest of the week to um to move into a new house or do some painting whatever you've got to be doing um but yeah looking forward to to the week ahead and thanks again for everyone to to listening to us um I honestly think that was the best that we say it a lot but that was that was very good that was very very <laughs> I think good it was, and yeah when you're scoring what is it, 11 goals in seven games you're the man everybody wants to speak to and he wanted to come on the the football friends podcast so it means we're doing something right yeah, exactly right. No, it was a it was a great chat, a great air. Um, we love doing it. So make sure you guys give us a follow. As I said, we we do have some things coming up in the new year that that we want you guys to be a part of. So if you're loving what we're doing uh, and you want us to keep getting these guests on, just give us a follow on our social media. We're as always at Football Friends Pod on Insta and TikTok. We're at Ben and Steph Pod on X, and we're Football Friends with Ben and Steph on YouTube. This video will be up as a full video as well. So check that out, guys, and um, subscribe and follow us to, to keep hearing more. We'll see you guys next week, as always. Thanks, everyone. Oh, friend. Fuck you lot. Where's the beer? Ever wanted to become a football agent? The John Viola Academy is an elite training and education program designed by world-class football agents to create world-class football agents. With online courses, personal mentoring and much more, the John Viola Academy provides you with every opportunity needed to achieve your dream career in the beautiful game as a football agent. Head to jvacademy.net forward slash football friends or click the link in our show notes to book a demo call with the team and start your journey today.